In this screencast, I'm going to build an iPhone application with Mono Touch with the ability to select a contact from the address book. I'm going to try and do this in less than five minutes, so let's get started. Open up Mono Develop and start a new solution. I'm going to call it Address Book Example. First thing I'm going to do here is add a new item. It's going to be a view interface definition with controller. It's going to be called main view. I'm going to open that up in interface builder straight away. Now I only need two things here. I need a button and a label. So I'm going to add both of those to my view. I'm going to add a button here. I'm going to add a label here. I'm going to make the label a bit bigger and give it some text. I'm going to centre the text. I'm going to give the button some text. I need some outlets for these UI components, so I'm going to do that straight away. I need to create two new outlets. I'm going to select main view here, click outlets. I'm going to add one for the label called person name and another one uh, for the button called select contact. I need to connect those outlets now. I'm going to click files owner. I'm going to select the connections tab, connect the person name to the label and select and connect the select contact outlet to the button. I'm going to click save and quit. Now before I write any code for the address book stuff, I need to I need to create one of my new um, main view views. <clears throat> and I need to add that when the application loads. So main view dot view. Okay, now I'm going to go into my main view code behind. First thing I'm going to do is add using mono touch dot address book UI. I'm going to add a private variable here, which is going to be an address book people picker navigation controller, and I'm going to call it picker. I'm going to override the view did load method um, and I'm gonna say picker equals new AB people picker navigation controller then I'm gonna add some code for when my uh, button is clicked the button was called select contact dot touch up inside this is just like the click event that you're probably used to in C sharp and I'm gonna say <clears throat> present modal view controller this is going to this is going to add a view controller to the screen and the view controller is of course my picker and there's an animated parameter here which is going to say true the next thing to do is say picker dot um, select person um, I'm going to add some code here, and I'm going to say picker dot dismiss modal view controller. So when a person is se is selected from the phone book, I'm going to hide this view controller again. But once it's hidden again, I'm going to update the label that I created. That was called person name. So I'm going to say person name dot text equals e dot person and e is the event argument here dot first name and of course e dot person dot last name as well one final thing is I'm going to say picker dot cancelled so if they don't want to select a person and they just hit cancel I simply just go picker dot dismiss modal view controller 
<coughs> animated true. Okay, that, that's done now, so I'm going to build and go. I think that was less than five minutes, but it's going to be pretty close either way. So it's going to load here. No contact selected. Here's the AB people picker. I'm going to select John Appleseed, and here he is. Okay, hope you like this screencast. There'll be more coming soon.